Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. For my new viewers, welcome. I'm, And for my returning viewers, welcome back. You guys, we have something a little different today. So I, I am doing a blackout spread. What is a blackout spread? Basically, I am taking some of the Happy Planner black paper. This is pre-punched black filler paper that you can really use for like a multitude of reasons. So I've used it um, on a dashboard spread, just kind of adding in like a little bit of black. Um, I've created a blackout spread in my monthly it's that was it from March so videos right here so you can check it out um, but basically a blackout spread is a whole spread <laughs> on black paper so how did I put this together basically what I did is I took a piece of black filler paper and I use a Tombow adhesive and I put it on one side then I put another piece on that side and then I just basically like drew the template myself or drew the lines myself so let's go back to that spread and then we'll kind of I'll kind of explain what we're gonna be doing today so again this is my blackout um, I basically set it up like the dashboard so I have my meal plan section, seven days of the week. Um, I actually extended the checklist to go over two sections, or the errand section, because that's going to be like a, raw, a long running checklist maybe. Um, there's this checklist, which I got some of the gel when I closed it up. It leaked, but that's whatever. Um, and then this is like your, I think it's a note section. And then this is that bottom focus section. So basically I just drew the lines myself and I used a Uniball Signo white gel pen. This is the broad, so it's like a one millimeter. And then for the thinner lines, I used an Archer and Olive white, acry white acrylograph. I used an Archer and Olive white gel pen. Um, this came in like one of their sub boxes, I think it was. I think so. Or it came, yeah, I think this came in a sub box. Um, but they are releasing new gel pens though. So you can actually buy the gel pens soon separately. So the sticker books that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a couple different things. Number one, I have three of the sticky notes and the um, sticker packs from the work plus life because I might end up using like some of these for it maybe like the grays of what I'm kind of thinking or maybe even the pink depending on how it kind of works um, like I think this pink might might really work with it but if not I definitely will plan on using the gray and then I actually use the little circles and these sticky tabs. Um, I have these stickers just in case. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I might, I, I honestly might not use them because I think I found enough stickers from the Fresh Botanicals sticker book. So what I'm doing, I basically already picked out some stickers. Um, I have quotes, I have some florals on black, some florals on clear, um, and then just some paper functional and paper decorative stickers. I decided to go ahead and pick out um, from the sticker book so that way I wasn't doing like a constant flip through. Um, so here's kind of like my starting point. I was debating between paper or using the clear and putting it on the post-it note. And I think for this spread, um, I'm gonna plan on using the clear. And some of also, oh, like the days of the week and the dates all come from the Mojo Jojo plans dated. 
and then the notes to do and this week comes from a header sheet from Amber plans her day oh my gosh <laughs> what a mouthful um, so this video can either go one of two ways either number one I will be an absolute creative genius or number two this is gonna be a tips and tricks do's and don'ts of creating a blackout spread <laughs> let's see how it happens let's see how it goes um, there is a reason why I never do like voiceovers I just I don't know I, I think I like the whole in the moment <laughs> without the voiceover okay so I have my paper stickers we're not gonna be messing with the paper stickers today what I am gonna do though is go ahead and kind of start trimming down um, some of the smaller uh, or like the date stickers and this is where it's gonna get a little complicated um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that using the Tombow adhesive will work for getting this to stick to the paper it is like really really shiny on the back it's like glossy on the back um, I'm gonna put it right there okay that actually doesn't look horrible it doesn't look horrible okay so let's trim this one down I might just like have all the trimmings fall on my desk and then I'll kind of wipe them away afterwards let's do the numbers first again I don't know what I'm doing with this um, I'm just gonna kind of try to like do my best estimate for where the numbers are gonna go it's a lot easier I just ran out of tape hold on this is why it is so important to buy the refills in bulk so basically when it's empty it just comes apart you toss this part this is how it comes in the refill pack so you take that out and literally just snap it together it is like my favorite thing ever okay so there we go so we can do 18 whoops 19 oh my goodness uh oh okay I have to be careful that those do not stick to the paper I actually have my little trash can right here close by oh. okay and then 21 if it's not perfectly straight I'm gonna have to deal <laughs> um, as I was kind of planning out this one I have other like another idea for a blackout spread using only paper stickers so I might be doing another blackout spread um, I think what would, I think would be a really good idea because of the fact that by the time that I'm done with this one I'm going to have a lot better idea of what to do um, okay I'm gonna kind of put it like right there all right so far so good all right now um, I actually so I have this one um, I think what I'm gonna do for these because of the fact that these are kind of smaller I am gonna go ahead and Tombow Tombow this so this is my meal plan section so we're gonna use the one that says this week and let's go ahead oops I lost almost lost Tuesday I'm gonna go ahead and kind of trim these down and then we are going to um, once they're trimmed down I'm going to take it Tombow on all the way through 
So in that way, it is just really easy to put down. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, speed it up while I finish um, finish putting on the days of the week. All right, I kind of had a moment where it kept getting stuck to me. Whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so now we have like, we have this page. Okay, so we, we, we kind of have like the majority of the outline done. Um, when I, when, oh, there's Vinny. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label I'm only gonna do two labels. So first of all, this section right here has a to-do, and because that's going to ultimately be a checklist. And this page has a notes. Um, and I'm thinking about putting, you know what, notes are gonna go right here. I don't, Vinny literally just ate. I don't know why he's whining. Well, he wants more food. I know why he's whining. All right, now we come to the part that I'm really, really nervous about. So again, these are the stickers that I chose. Um, let's just, let's just get to it. <laughs> um, so I know that the clear stickers are not gonna show up perfectly on the black paper. However, the main reason why I chose this quote is because the gold sticker is. So I'm gonna really quickly just kind of really press this down really nice and flat, and then we'll move on. All right, so here is your first, <laughs> I just, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so apparently I was like rubbing this card and it kind of, dirtied up my spread almost I don't know that was weird okay but anyways I used a card and I just like smoothed it out and it I find that it looks a lot better um it I think this will show up a lot better in real life than what it will on camera I'm nervous I'm super nervous <laughs> about trying to take a picture of this spread I just don't think that it's gonna work out very well, but we'll see, we will see. Um, so I could have very easily left out like this line right here, but I wanted to kind of leave this like as close to, as close to what um, a normal dashboard spread would be. And I mean, so far I'm, so far I'm liking it. So far I am enjoying the spread. Um, I do have this and really what I wanted to do with this, I think I might like kind of put it to where it's only on the corner. Oh, I'm kind of a little nervous. I don't know how stickers are going to peel up from black paper if you decide that you don't want them there. But I was honestly thinking about putting one like right here and then... Oh, hold on. Maybe I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't know if I want this notes right here and I don't, I don't know if I can peel that up. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do instead. Okay, um, do not put down a sticker on black paper and expect it to pick up easily. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, I might really regret this. I'm gonna pick this up just a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, that was that was good. I'm really glad that I had these on, on a sticky paper. And I'm gonna do this one right here. Is that straight? That is not straight. This one's not straight. I don't know. I can't tell if these are straight or not. <laughs> um, I. 
I have one complaint about the Happy Planner black paper. There is, it's blank. I don't like blank paper. I like in my Bujo notebooks, I use only, only dot grid. So yes, I hate the fact that this is blank paper and I'm so scared. Okay, I can't, I can't straighten it out. It, it's gonna have to stay. But anyways, yeah, so I'm not super happy that it's blank paper. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna like intentionally have to cut off by the way. And then I wanna do one right here. I just wanna give it like a different look. And then we're gonna trim off the bottom. Okay, so Vinny was being ignored. So now he's sending in Duke. He's like, come on Duke, go get his food. Um, it's also like 11 o'clock at night when I'm recording this. Okay, I like that. I really, really like that. Now, I'm also trying to decide like what else I wanted to do. Um, I wanted something right there. All right, let's grab the sticker book. I'm going to have to flip through it. And I think I was trying to flip through it for like more boxes. And I was like, I don't know if any of these are going to work. So like I, I was hoping that this was going to be black, but it wasn't. So I think this right here, I think this right here is actually technically like more of a gray, but I think, I think it's supposed to be black. So we're going to put this right here and we're actually going to put that right there. Okay. I think that's good. Um, I had intended on using this wild and blue and beautiful quote, but clearly there's no room. So let's see where we can kind of start throwing in some of these florals. Um, and this is where it's gonna come in handy to have, ooh, maybe a stencil would work well. I don't know, I like, I'm super nervous. Okay, let's try this one instead, instead of the other one that I tried. I think it's, it's, it's really hard to tell and I'm also nervous that I pushed down too hard on that, but let's, let's see what happens. Um, and then right here. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever that will have to do. I'm really nervous about this because I think I pushed down a little too hard and I won't be surprised if it tears that black sticker and if it does I'm gonna have to find something else and I mean I think there is like another sticker that I can I could use for a black but I really like this one so I'm just going to carefully trim. Okay. Um, I think it's working. And then let me just carefully trim this. I think that will do. It's, it is incredibly hard to see the black stickers, like the black background stickers on the black paper. Um, almost what it is, is that the color is not opaque enough. So <laughs> let, let this be a lesson. If you are going to be putting stickers onto a, um, if you're going to be putting any of like the glossy stickers on the, the black paper, you want 
to either stick with clear if you're okay with it not being super opaque or use paper okay clear backed only if you're okay with it not being super opaque however I would definitely recommend sticking to clear paper okay I wanted to cut out that mushroom instead of using my punch um, I want to figure out a way to add in lines onto that okay so now we have this page um, I want to go ahead I'm gonna put this right here because this is actually a day that we're, we're gonna be in um, most likely going to San Francisco for like a Pokemon Go event so we will have a busier day but I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I'm thinking about just kind of like putting it right there. Like right there. We could do that. Um, let's see. I think he has his tennis games on Tuesday. We'll do tennis like right down here. I'm not going to use the tennis icons, by the way. And I think, all right, so 19th is the only day that he has tennis that week. However, we'll plan on doing something that day. And unfortunately, we have taxes due on the 18th, um, so I want to notate that because I have not done my taxes yet. So, I mean, that's something that, so it is actually Saturday the 9th when I'm recording this. Um, so taxes will definitely be done by this day, but I still want to just go ahead and include it. Oh, there we go. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, I don't want to include too many more florals because I'm kind of nervous about using too many more florals in this. Actually, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because April 21st, is Vinny's gotcha day so I do want to like include something something special okay I'm gonna put this right here this is one of those clear and I'm just gonna use my nail this time to kind of smooth it out see and you could like you could see the clear so much better than the black I guess that looks okay <laughs> Um, I was thinking about doing like that and then let's trim off that edge. I just, I, and one thing I've definitely noticed, the black stickers tend to be a lot harder to trim. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to try to pick this up because it didn't, I didn't trim it very nicely. And I know that I kind of pushed this down a little hard, so I don't know how this is going to work. And it's funny, you know, I'm, I'm putting this black sticker over a white line. It's like, I should have just waited to do my lines until the very end. Okay, there we go. You can you can see it. You can kind of see it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna recommend if you do a spread like this, don't <laughs> um, take this as I am testing it out for you, so you can see how it will come out when you go to do the spread. And just don't do it. 
Just don't do it. Although, I really do like the clear ones, though. Um, I think we're going to go back to... Let's go back to this one. Because I kind of want to put the clear, like, right here. Um, let's uh, trim, and then I'm going to really, really um, press it down. So there's that piece and that piece. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then I got to kind of smooth it down. I mean, I actually kind of like, I don't like how it kind of got smeared up here. Um, so if you're going to be smoothing down stickers, just be very careful with what you use. Be careful with like not smearing everything else. And I mean, I think overall it looks, I think it looks kind of cute. So, um, really quickly, I'm going to actually, um, try to put in some lines. So let me go ahead and grab my tools for that. And then we will, um, go ahead and put down like some dots because I've got some gold dots that I want to use. All right. So I have been talking with Elise, uh, playing with Elise earlier. And what she shared with me was that there's a trick that if you take a lead pencil and you essentially write over lines, it should make an indent in the page below it. So that's what we're doing. Um, this is an artist pencil. This is actually an old da or dashboard planner that I'm using for work. Um, it makes an indent, but not a lot, not enough. Let's try using the very tip of my tweezers, as strange as it sounds. It kind of makes it an, an indent. Um, I think it's going to make an indent enough that I will be able to at least see the line and I will know where to put the checklist. Also, I don't like writing on blank paper. I don't like drawing on blank paper. I don't like Bujo on blank paper. I like dot grid and I will admit I'm kind of really disappointed that Happy Planner did not make this be dot grid paper. You know, most people don't think to use blank paper. Okay, it's it's indented enough. <laughs> this can be a really weird monthly. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, so now we're going to do this with these. But yeah, most people like, I think most people would want would want a dot grid paper. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking let's go like starting from here and here because you got to remember I have these stickers down. And now this one is going to come from about here. All right, I'm, I think I can work with this. All right, I'm just basically for the rest of them, I'm just gonna go straight across um, probably until I get to Friday, Tuesday, and Monday. I'm gonna speed it up because I don't know if you really wanna listen to me chatter during this, but just know if this was Doc Grid, I would not be having to do this. All right, speeding it up. All right, that, I think I can work with that. So now we're gonna take all these little bullets because now I know exactly where to put my checklist. Oh my goodness. And now I know exactly, like I have somewhat of a line to work with. So yeah, that was a good tip from Plan with Elise. Um, 
I'm, I'm really glad that I mentioned something to her. All right. And then I think just for kind of like a guide. Oh my gosh. I picked just enough for that. Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do just so I can be able to have like dots for a guide, I'm going to go ahead and put down some more gold dots. <laughs> Let's do two for each day. Um, yeah, because during the week, I don't always have like, I mean, since I work, I don't always have stuff to do. I don't always have like with the exception of, of chores and stuff. We don't always have things going on. Although, um, although tonight I learned that California is introducing a mandate that um, will require employers with over 500 employees to only have a 32 hour work week. My brain <laughs> literally exploded when I read that. Um, so I, I don't know how many people know this, but I work in HR. I work in human resources. I handle leave and disabilities. I am the only one in my in my company that handles leave and disabilities. Um, I could never imagine, could never imagine being able to keep up with everything that I have to do in 32 hours a week. I couldn't do it. There's no way. So I'll, I'll be really interested. Hold on. I have to see like, to like kind of lift it up and see like where the lines are. So yeah, I'll be really interested to see and in kind of what, what happens with that. But yeah, that was, I'm not so sure I like it. <laughs> I will 100% admit, I feel like it's it's going to be a hardship on businesses to allow that. Okay. I think I'm done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is... I think, I think this spread worked. I really need to see how it photographs. That's my biggest fear at this point. Um, is that it's it's gonna photograph really really weirdly now these are the gel pens that I basically like okay what should I use for it um, so I'm, I'm basically leaning towards only using white at this point but yes we have my finished blackout spread using fresh botanicals i think i like it i yeah i you know what it'll be really interesting to see how i like it as the week goes on but finish spread um yeah so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see me do more blackout spreads leave me a comment down below um, if you have any ideas for books that you want to see me use or just any, anything really, just drop me a comment. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day. Thumbs up, hit subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good night, guys.